And another big story we're following tonight. It's been a talker for years, no doubt about it. Redeveloping and bringing businesses back to Security Square Mall right in Baltimore County. Well, tonight, community leaders, they wanted to hear from the community to get your ideas on what you'd like to see. WJZ is live at 11 o'clock, and Kelsey Kushner just outside of the Sears at the mall there. And Kelsey, what are neighbors suggesting tonight? Entertainment venues, uh, movie theaters, uh, restaurants, high end shopping, the list goes on and on, Rick. And a lot of neighbors that I spoke with tonight say that this area used to be the spot. Now it's just an eyesore. And they're really hoping that the county can breathe some life back into it. It's a $20 million plant to pump new life into Security Square Mall. It would be nice to see something uh, brand new for a change. Wednesday night, county leaders met with neighbors for a public workshop to get ideas for the massive property. When I moved in, the mall was thriving. It was, you know, it had a lot of businesses, a lot of options, and I've seen it decline over the past you know, 10, 15 years, and I'm just excited to see the revitalization. Kimberly Shorter says she's lived in the area for over 20 years, and at one point, the mall was booming. With business. She says she wants to see new restaurants, shops, or a place where everyone can hang out. We want to make sure that there's something for everyone to do here that we can keep our dollars here. Baltimore County Executive Johnny Olszewski says right now the county owns the Sears building, but they hope discussions like this with community members and local businesses will lead to redeveloping the entire property. This is a real opportunity for us to come in um, and, and make this site more reflective of what the community wants. From housing opportunities, to entertainment venues, neighbors like Brandon Biggs Ward says he hopes the old building will get a new lease on life. I would love to see them put in uh, like some restaurants, uh, like some actual restaurants versus just a food court. I would love to see them just spruce it up, like make it look modern. Now, there will be several more community meetings, and their goal is to have a finalized plan by November 9th. Reporting live tonight, Kelsey Kushner for WJZ.